Well, I took her for a little cruise up the road just to see how it goes. And uh, so we turned the axle sideways and that's how it's sitting. Man, it tows so good, I really don't even notice behind the car. Now the mill could come ahead of the axle a little wee bit and I'm going to build spots to strap it down. But as it is, the way the axles are right now, the way they're turned, if it wasn't for that little knob under there, I could mill, I wouldn't even have to take the uh, wheels out from under it because that mill will drop down to one inch above those, uh, the, the uh, bunks. Now I just have these vice grip here just so it can't roll back or forward and I ratchet strapped it here so it don't pop off. But eventually I will make brackets, these holes here. I will utilize those holes somewhere there. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I will do something like that, I think, I'm not sure. But anyways, you can see the car tows it just like nothing. You know, it's at the right width and it's at the right height. It tows perfectly just the way it is. I'm pretty happy with that, folks. And it's balanced nice. Like I say, the mill, if the mill went ahead at about another six inches a foot, it would be perfect because there's just a little bit of weight on the tongue. And not enough, I don't think. I am going to support that tongue a little bit. Now, that tongue was bent a little wee bit anyways before. So that didn't happen now. It was curved up a little bit. But, man, that's good. We could be mobile and we can do 16 foot just the way it is. And our little car will tow that just like nothing. Hey, no problem at all, eh? No problem at all. We'll show them what it's like heading down the road. Okay, let's go. You'll see what it's like. Do a 20 mile an hour already, no problem at all.
both here will reach over here nicely and I, I kind of like the way the other one <laughs> the other one runs a little better now so I'll use the other big old welder I have to cut a few square holes here and I have to slide another piece of uh, tubing in there and down on the other end to slide our outriggers in I have to build some outriggers but as you can probably see folks we towed it up the road and it tows amazingly I, the mill could be ahead a little bit more to put more weight on the tongue, but it works great, folks. It really does. So the next step is to cut. I think I, I don't know if I said it, but a square hole here and one over there, and slide an axle through, or th slide a square tubing through, just like this one. Put one back there. Put one in here that way I can slide these I'll show you what I'm going to make I just have to get the square tubing that they slide into and I don't have it here so that's what the standstill is right now but I have to make three more of these guys right there those outriggers that's what I'll use. I'll just slide it in the axle. In the, I'll just slide it in the tubing to jack it up and take the axles out. So I have so I have enough of this. So I have another jack there that Bert sent me quite a while. I will use that. And I have a lot of this square tubing. So there's one here. That's what I need for this. And then if we walk out here, I will show you what... Um, I'll show you the other steel I have to make the rest of the outriggers because it came off the top of this roll bar, I guess. Rollover cage, whatever you want to call it. So uh, it is out here. Let me walk through here. Bear with me here while I shake the camera. But I have all of that stuff. It's in behind. Uh, my spare snowmobile hoods, which I have to take out back. They have to get relocated. I have enough of that stuff right here. Look at that. So I could take this one and that one, and I still have this art piece that's rolled. Yeah, I just need the larger stuff that this slides into, and then, and two more jacks, but that's no big deal. Now, as you can see, that trailer sits high like that and the way I have the mounted the axles I don't know if you can even see it but they're turned like that there yeah so now to take it when I go to take it inside the the uh, shed I would turn the axles up this way so it's as low as it can so I take it in so far but once I get that filled in here a little bit there will be no problem that's the hold up but I guess you know right away I remember I was going to, <clears throat> excuse me, work on this. I was going to work on this. I need the big welder to weld that up. Man, I pulled this out of here. I forgot what I was going to do. Yeah. Anyway, this hitch works perfect. I like the fact that I can hook it to the front of this Kubota side-by-side. -side. It's not the proper size ball, though. That's only a 1 and 7 8 ball. And I need an inch, I need a 2 inch. But I have one on the back of the car. It works perfect on this so i'll eventually so that one there is actually to pull our log trailer which is down over there it takes a inch and seven eighths ball hitch because that's all i had when i when i built it right but yeah so everything here is working out perfect everything's working out perfect and i think i, I don't know if i showed it properly but see this here this here once this unbolts this whole hitch here unbolts when it once it unbolts it comes off i can put the extension on it that's leaning up in there so once i get the once i get the holes there and that piece of steel in place and i get my jacks made then it's just a matter of sliding them in there jacking it up pulling the wheels out and setting this down on some some blocking i don't plan on leaving the wheels in it somebody asked me if i was going to leave the wheels in it I do not plan on leaving the wheels in. I want to get as close to the ground as I can so we're not, so I'm not reaching really high trying to operate the mill. I like it as low as I can get it. 
and uh, yeah so the wheels and it has to be low to go in underneath the roof so I can get it as close to the far wall as I can when I when Heather and I go to mill so as it is I can mill 16 or well, 17 foot if I pushed it but 16 for sure the way it is just with that set up there which is pretty good I don't plan on milling anything longer than 16 feet because our trailer won't haul that long yeah, so as soon as I can come up with that steel, I'm going to finish that. And then what else do I, oh yeah, so I'm going to, so in the meantime, we can go at it and we can weld up this guide here. I can build the guide for there. And then I have to take the MIG and I see I can weld that chute in a little wee bit, but I can't go, you know, I think that's about as, I, I don't think I can, See, I was going to bring that piece down a little bit. I'm glad I set it down all the way because I can't. That's that's as much as I can go there. I may be able to bring that material out a little bit, but that's about it. And I can bring it down maybe about that much, about quarter inch, half inch. I can angle it down a little bit. But with that blower hooked up, though, I think it's going to draw all that moisture out. Anyways, I think it's going to work pretty good. Well, that's probably it for today, folks. It's a very short video, I know, and I'm very sorry, but I was just getting things set up here. And, uh, you know, Heather and I had to run to town real quick for chicken feed this morning and a few other things, so we didn't get a chance to do this too much today. But I did finish drilling these, and I found the proper bolts I needed, so I put the proper bolts in there. I finished drilling them on the two sides, so that way I got four positions on here and it took a quick ride so when I go to move it if I go to move it I will move the mill ahead a little wee bit and then I will bolt it down one fellow said I think he says there's a hinge system on his so I may do that on this too I may build it so there's a hinge system on here that I can just fold down and bolt it and we're not using it I'll just just pull it back up when I don't need to move it because I don't see me towing this anywhere to do any work this is basically just to move it in and out of the building that's it I don't see me taking it anywhere ever to do any kind of milling but if I ever have to I can or if I have to move it out of there or if I decide to move it out of there if I want to mill maybe outside for some stupid reason which I probably never will but you never know at least I have that option so it is very flexible now well, that's about it, folks. Uh, yeah, we'll try to talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye, all.